Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're looking at the Argus class, the original Romulan Warbird that we got to see in the original series. So, uh, looking at everything, and this is from D6 Holocron, uh, it's the Argus class Star Empire, a Romulan Star Empire Argus class battle cruiser. Capital scale, it has a length of 192 meters. Uh, ship's mass is 347,800 metric tons. It comes in at a size 5 category. We do have an autopilot of 2D plus 2. It has a, uh, a crew of 89 uh, Romulans and a skeleton crew of just 9 with a plus 10 to our rolls. Uh, passengers is roughly about 14 and cargo capacity is 18,000 metric tons. Uh, it was projected that this should be able to be out there for about four years. So we have consumables for four years. Now I did add for the, uh, the hyperdrive, adding it into our um, Star Wars universe here. So uh, traditionally the warp drive is going to be a 5 to 5.8 for standard and then 6.5 for about 12 hours before it needs to cool down and have some uh, work done. So I gave it, you know, keeping it in true form to what our original Constitution class was. So that's now a times 8 for a backup and a times 3 for a primary. We do have a nav computer on here. It has a maneuverability of 1D and that puts it right on par with the original Enterprise. Uh, space is a 7.5, a hull is 2D, and our shields is a plus 2. So again, that's all on par with the original Enterprise. Uh, you know, and, and that's why I wanted to really do, you know, an Enterprise, or uh, the Constitution class, the NX-01, and then the Galaxy. Uh, and I'm trying to work on a ship that I, I have found for Net, uh, from FAZA. I can only speak here this morning. Uh, and what I'm doing is I'm taking the original Constitution class, or actually it's, it'd be the first upgrade to it, because that's where this would fit in. So now I've got to figure out, okay, I have the stats. It was created by someone with the actual stats that it should have for FASA. But now I'm trying to put it in so it works for our universe here putting it into the D6 universe, whether it's, you know, you, you want to have Star Wars and Star Trek collide, if you want to just keep the Star Trek as Star Trek in the D6 universe, however you want to do it. But I'm trying to, you know, that's, this is our standard, and this is what I want to kind of go off of. What kind of weapons does it have? Is it going to be above or below that? He's got all that in there. Now I just have to figure out where that's going to fit in for our game here. Okay, um, our sensor packet. So we have passive scanning at four kilometers. Active scan is 12 kilometers. Our search is 15 kilometers and our focus is 500 meters. And very much like in the original series, you know, our numbers behind here for our multipliers, the computer systems and our scanning systems were not as good as what we had gotten later on in the next generation or even in the movie series, so they're a little less. This does have a cloaking device, so while cloaked, we get a plus 2D plus 1 difficulty to detect the ship. All right, so weapons. It has plasma torpedo launcher, which after a while it did kind of, kind of fuzz out and, and kind of lose all of its uh, momentum there. Requires a crew of one. Has a fire control of plus two. Uh, let's see. It says it has ammunition of 50 plasma torpedoes. Uh, you know, in Star Star Wars, we have plasma torpedoes, but there's no actual limit as to how many you can have, but we'll take it. But the damage on here is just phenomenal. It is a 6D plus one. Uh, we have two class beta tractor beams. So we can tow something either in front of us or behind us. Uh, we have a fire control of plus two, and we have a strength of 2D plus one. And then we have our 
uh, class alpha tractor beam for the shuttle bay. So it's a plus two and it's a strength of 3D. So this is where all the fun stuff comes in that, you know, D6 Holocron has entered in here. And like I said, this is the part that if I'm doing this, I just have crew of whatever. Okay. But, you know, they've break, broken it all down. So we have crew quarters. We have 120 crew members in barracks. We have two Spartan. Uh, and we have eight decks here. So uh, we have 80 escape pods for capacity of four crew members each. This was commissioned in about 2260, according to Earth Reckoning. We have transporters, one personnel transporter with six pad with a six person transporter pad. We have one emergency with a 22 person capacity and four cargo transporters that can transport up to 200 kilograms each. We do have two shuttlecraft on here, 20 probes and no captain's yacht. Captain's yachts are something that came in a little later than this, but and then the Romulan bird, bird of Prey was a type of space vessel that was in service in the military in the Star Romulan, the Romulan Star Empire uh, back in the 23rd century. And I'm forgetting my due diligence. I knew I was forgetting something. Uh, and I've got my book here, so let's try and see if I can't find this fairly quick. We've got our Klingon ships here. Um... And we have our Federation, so I have got to go farther back. Um, just trying to see if, as far as we have. So I'm sure we have that ship in here. I don't see why I wouldn't. With Breen, species 8472. Here's Vulcan, Romulan. Okay, 136. All right, so look at my decipher book here, and I passed up the page that I was trying to go to, so that's that's where I was having my problems. All right, so most notably, this is considered the Romulan Bird of Prey, and its mission profile, originally designed as a system defense ship operating inside the Romulan space, the Bird of Prey was the mainstay of their fleet. The Romulan garrison fleets of these ships at star bases in every major system uh, on their side of the neutral zone. Uh, they defended individual star systems from invading or invasion by making it difficult for invaders to move from star to star. Uh, ships of this class guarded against pirates and smugglers and rooted out uh, nascent insurrections. These vessels became the test bed for two Romulan technologies, the newly developed cloaking device, and a plasma energy weapon. After several years of early test flights, the Romulan dispatched one ship to cross the neutral zone and attack Starfleet listening posts in the first live fire test. When the redesign and upgrade of the original Bird of Prey design during the years of the Klingon Romulan Alliance, in the early 23rd century, these ships in, embarked on a more aggressive mission penetrating Klingon and Federation space on offensive and reconnaissance missions. So that is the mission profile of this vessel. Uh, and I've said it before and I'll say it again. I mean, there are people that break down these ships a lot better than I do, I think. Um, but what makes me unique is I'm trying to bring this into the gaming aspect to bring this into the d6 universe however you want to do it now most notably i prefer keeping it in the traditional star wars universe uh you know there's many other planets we do have wild space um there's a lot of other areas there uh if you carve out the wild space area there's plenty of room to just take what we know as uh, the Star Trek universe, and we could actually put it in there and go from that point. Uh, however, you know, anyone would ever want to do it. If you want to have Star Trek and Star Wars collide and do whatever, great. If you don't and you want to keep them separate, perfectly fine. I just love the system, 
and that's why I'm trying to bring it here so everyone can see it. And, you know, maybe you can use it for something that you want to do. Like I said, this ship itself comes from the D6 Holocron. They do a wonderful job at this. Um, and because they do a wonderful job, uh, I'm working on a ship. It is the Richofin. I think that's how it's pronounced or whatever. It is a actually a Faza ship, and I'm trying to put it in a very similar as to what they have because they have a very good flavor of what Star Trek is. So if I can kind of copy that, great. I will fail at some point, uh, but, you know, we'll get as close as what we can and something that seems and feels like it should. So with that, thanks for visiting. It's always appreciated when you stop by. Hope you have a wonderful day, and we'll see you in the next video.